This is an ancient scroll that was buried by the eruption of Mount Vesuvius 2,000 years ago. Scientists say it could reveal brand new philosophical writings. But here's the challenge. So these scrolls can't be opened physically? It would damage them? AI is changing that. Here's how it's helping researchers unroll scrolls like these, virtually. The Vesuvius Challenge is a global initiative that's dedicated to deciphering Herculaneum scrolls like this one. This is its project lead, Stephen Parsons. And so we put the charred scrolls in a particle accelerator to scan the inside, and then we are developing the software that can extract the text contents of the scroll from that scan. So we're trying to look inside the scrolls and reveal the text. AI has been trained to spot the ink on the scroll, but not to understand the words. This helps make sure it doesn't guess or change the meaning of the text. This scroll is one of three housed at the Budleian Libraries in Oxford, England. The virtual unrolling of it has revealed substantial parts of the papyrus, including several columns of text. One of the first words deciphered being the ancient Greek word for disgust. This is researcher Michael McOsker. So the Bodleian text we know is Greek. It looks like philosophy. It's almost certainly going to be a philosophical text. The odds are that it's an Epicurean text by Philodemus. Getting new texts is, is great. Getting new texts from an, author, from an author that I've worked on for a decade and a half now is, is even better news. Uh, but I'll be happy whatever it is. The Vesuvius Challenge is now inviting contributions from the global community to interpret the text. The material found could potentially reshape our understanding of literature from that era. With the ball rolling, Parsons says 2025 could be a breakthrough year. We think this year we're going to substantially read an entire scroll for the first time. So that will be historic for a single scroll. We think we will be set to reveal quite a few new works from the ancient world.